Now we'll start those flowers. We'll get those beautiful highlight colors on. I'm gonna rinse my brush, rinse it in turp, get it nice and clean, get all that green off. And we're gonna dip down here. I'll pick up just a touch of medium. Remember your base tone was real wet, had a lot of medium. So this time use less medium and more paint. And we'll go into our red, cad red, and our cad red light. I'm gonna mix them together. And let's go way up here. And let's just start, and we'll see if this shows up. And you're gonna start out on the edge of the petal and stroke in toward the center. I'm gonna lighten that up just a bit. Let's go with cad red and a touch of orange. But whatever you do on a red flower, stay away from the white paint. The white, you know, mixed with red, will just turn everything pink. So this is red with a touch of orange. There we go. Little orange, little red, and I'm just gonna go around to all these edges and work from the outside in. When I reach down, when my brush disappears, I'm just picking up the same color. So stay right up there with me. And I'm lifting my brush up before I come all the way in to the center of that petal. And we're gonna go around first and do all the outside edges first. All the outside petals, rather. And this one down here. And this is kind of just the middle tone. The other was our dark base tone. And I keep picking up more of the orange and more of the red. There we go. And go all the way around. Now I'm gonna leave that one right now and I'm gonna go to the other one, red and orange. So many people ask in our classes, how do you paint a red flower, a red rose especially? And they, they go in and they start with the red, dark red or crimson base tone, good enough, but then they start picking up white because they say, well, the, the light red doesn't show up on top of the dark red enough. So common sense at first would tell you, well, let's get a little lighter and go in with some white to highlight the petals. Well, that's gonna turn your red rose or your red flower, red poinsettia, pink right away. So stay away from the white until the very, very last. And I'm just doing the same thing, that push down, lift up stroke. If you get a chance to get our technique tape or see the technique show that I did, we'll show you these strokes, that quick push down, lift off stroke. Very, very important. And I'm going out beyond the edge of my drawing a little bit too with these highlights. Going out beyond the edge. Now we're gonna go into the middle. Let's stay right down in this one. We'll get just a little lighter. Now I'm gonna add, oh, let's add a little bit of, of rose or rose and white. Now I'm gonna go in just a tiny bit lighter on these middle petals. They have many, many layers. And now this is not a lot of white. It's just a tiny bit of white, a little bit of rose. And just start plunking around here and getting some of these other ones in. They kind of, some of them are skinny and they twist and turn all different directions. Let's get a little darker, be careful of the white. And we'll be putting some of this white and rose on the outer edges. Let, let's hit this one. I have yet to paint those um, poinsettias that do have the, they're pink or they're kind of a salmon color. And of course there's white ones too. And they are beautiful. But we want to just hit the edges just in a couple places. This is the rose and the white, just here and there. And let's go up to the top one. This is the rose with a touch of white and maybe a little bit of the red in it. And let's do this one here. There's little layers. Of course, those of you that are avid gardeners know that these are called bracts. They're not, they're not, um, it's not called the flower, it's called the brack, which is just actually a red leaf. And that's what the poinsettia is, it's all these little red leaves. Some of them you just hit a little stroke, some of them you might be showing the side. Keep it loose, very, very loose. You don't want to tighten up on your painting and have it real hard looking. Let's go over here, where should we hit? A few highlights here and a few up here. But this is one flower that you don't want to go in and highlight with the white. 
just plain white like we do some of the other flowers. Let's get the centers in. I'm going to use a little, um, oh, it's just a little filbert. It's a little tiny filbert and, and the number eight. I'm going to put a little medium on the brush. And let's see, let's go in with yellow and orange. I'm going to load up the brush with yellow and orange. And then we're going to come over here and just hit the tip of the brush with that green and sienna mixture. Just a little bit on the tip. And I'll show it up here. You see this up here? You see that? How I've got the tip just loaded with the green. There we go. And the rest is the yellow and orange. And we'll go up to the center of this one. And we'll just start out on the tip and push. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And that gives you your neat little center. Let's go down and I'm going to load just a little more green on the brush, green and sienna, and go up to the top one up here, push, and that gives you both colors at once. And you just plunk around and get all those neat little centers in there. Okay, we better get on those dark leaves. Those big, dark, lush green leaves that will be coming out from under the flower. And those are the ones that will make the flower edges stand out. Dark under the flower will make the, the petals just pop out. And that's where I've started some of those darks, those dark greens in here. Oh, and by the way, if I didn't say so, this is an 18 by 24 size canvas. 18 by 24 stretch canvas. So let's pick up our green and sienna. Green and sienna mixed up. And let's just come on up, oh, let's come on in this area right here. And we'll just start placing in some of those very dark leaves. Now remember this goes on so great because it's a wet background already. And don't just go up to some leaves and stop because in the garden they don't just stop, they overlap or in a bouquet. So don't be afraid to overlap. We're going to break right over here, right outside the border. That would come right over that border. And another one here. Now you could go in and put these leaves in first before you do the flower. And that's a good way to do it. Um, that way it's, it's sometimes a little easier for you to sneak the leaves in, but I'm going to do it this way today. I'm going to do it backwards. So it's your painting and you can do it in whatever stages you want. You just want it to turn out good. That's the main thing. And when you practice and practice these strokes and the more painting you do, the better your painting's gonna come out. Let's come up to the top. We've got a nice dark one here. Now these are all overlapped in layers, all different layers. And watch your tips. They get a little long sometimes. And where else? Let's see, how about one coming out right here? I had a little red on my brush, so that's fine. We're going to be tinting these leaves with red anyway. And we've got some little green Christmas boughs, pine boughs. And let's bring one right out here. Start way in the middle. And use that chiseled edge way up here. Now. I'll get another brush going in a minute. Let's come way down to the bottom, doing the same thing, putting some little stems, these chiseled edges. You can make skinny, skinny little stems. And let's pick up a little liner, or no, this is a little sable round. Little sable round. And it comes to a nice point, and I'm gonna pick up medium, and some green and sienna. Let's start down at the bottom, there we are and just come out from the stem with some little guys. I'm going to reach down for some more paint because these brushes don't hold a whole lot of paint, so you have to keep loading. And it tapers off into a point, and as it comes back to the base and tucks in under the bouquet, they get a little bit fatter. How about over here? Bring them to a point little point and you can taper them off. Let's go up to the top 
And way up here, let's do a few of those. Now you take your time on this painting. I have to rush and I don't have near as much time. We've only got 20 something minutes and that's not a lot of time. Wish we had about three hours up here, but we don't, so we just have to get in as much as we can. And we're just here to give you ideas, Gary and I. And then you have to learn to experiment and use your photos to paint by and do all those gorgeous paintings. I know you can do it. I know you can. It's easy, easy. Okay. Now we've got some little, little red Christmas berries and we'll see if we can't get those in. I'm going to pick up a larger filbert. This is a number 12 filbert, a little bit larger than the other one. We're going to pick up some crimson, a little bit of beautiful, beautiful crimson, little medium. And where should we put these little guys? How about right down here? I want you to come in real close on this so you don't miss it. We're going to just place the brush down and we're going to swirl it around. You see that? Swirl it around. How about another one? And how about another one? Sometimes it takes two swirls. One around one side and one around the other. That's the crimson. You pick up a little orange or a little orange and cut red light and you decide where you want your highlight. You put a little highlight on one side. This is so simple and this is how you do the little berries on the border too if you want. And you can use your little round brush and place just a little highlight right here right on the top. That's the little sparkle. And we'll do a little stem that's with the liner or the script brush. And we'll just come out like so and stop. Come out. And those are your little berries. Really, really simple. Put some little neat things coming out. And let's go back now and highlight those leaves. Get that beautiful red color. You've got the red in the middle of the painting. So you want to tie in this red to the outer edges a little bit. And that's also what the red berries do too. So let's get some beautiful red edges or some orange edges, some warm color. Let me rinse my brush out a little bit more, get all that green out. And I'll show you how to tint those edges. I might even pick up some pink here and a little red pink. And let's come right up here. And you're not going to pull your stroke all the way into the middle of the leaf like you did before. You're just going to press and lift up sooner. Look at that beautiful edge. I'm going to reach down, get some more of that red. I just love to have the red on the leaves. If you look at leaves in nature, especially on the top of roses, some of them get very, very red. Way out here. There we go. And where else? Just reds and pinks and just bounce this color. It's reflective color. It could be reflecting down off onto the leaves and maybe a little bit up top here, about right here, a little bit here to bring one leaf in front of the other. And now how about a little bit of yellow, a little yellow and white or this light green maybe color, yummy color, lime green. They look luscious. They look like ice cream or sherbet, a little bit of green right here. And how about, where else? How about over here? Light green, light green. And let's bring some color way out over and up the other side of that leaf. Bring these right over the edge. And maybe up top, how about a little bit, let's get some light green leaves right in here. I'm gonna darken that just a tad. A Little bit of filler leaves right in here. You have to stand back and look at your composition. Make sure, oh look at that, I got pink in there. I'm going to leave that. That's by not washing out the brush. Isn't that pretty? You have to stand back and look at your composition. Make sure you get everything in there. And I hope you learned a lot today and I hope you took notes and go get your paints and brushes out. And don't forget to condition your brushes. Keep them soft. So thanks for joining me and don't forget to watch next week. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.